this is going to be in the video tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever it gets uh, approved. But I went to PetSmart and um, I got this hide thing. It's pretty cool. You can see the uh, magnets right here and there. And there's one right there. But you can see they go in here and they can go up, hide up in here and there. It goes back pretty deep. And then uh, this is the front and it's magnetic. So there's nothing here holding it up. And then it gets dark and I go in. So I'm going to wash it and uh, see if they like it. She's kind of curious. Um, but I was at a beach, so that's why, like I said in the last one, there wouldn't be a video this weekend. It would be this week. That's the female crested. Um, I got her a new plant, because you can see that was empty. So I got a... Exoterra medium that a butyl on I don't know and it's like that one that's already in the corner and a suction cup and uh I don't remember if I got a medium last time but it's about like the length of the cage so I can compare here are the prices. Um, well, my pet smart just got redone. Uh, they redid the uh, reptile area. They have it, so you go through and it's step by step, court, like on the aisle. Um, it says where to. What is that thing doing? <laughs> well, they say like step one, pick the heating, and then have lights. They have under tank heaters all together light fixtures and have like decorations, sand, carpet, cages, stuff like that. Uh, but they just got these, which I've been waiting for. Um, they got like bamboo stuff. Uh, they got some real bamboo, they got fake bamboo. Um, it's kind of expensive. It was like $17, but whatever. This right here was $24.99, which was on sale. Um, the plant, this one was only seven ninety nine, and uh, the small was six ninety nine. So I just thought, why not? I might as well get the medium because that's what I thought I had before. So it's pretty good. I mean, the small was like about half the size of this. This is way better value. Um, I didn't even look at the large price. Well, I did, but I don't remember. It could have been a dollar more. It could have been like five dollars more. Um, they haven't really figured out that there's an opening, but I'm going to use this as, like, the new hide box. I'm going to, let me take this off. I'm going to make the bottom, I'm going to put moss, and I'm going to make the top normal. I mean, there's not too much, there's a lot of room here, and not that much here, but I think if I fill that with moss, they will lay eggs in it. The small was too small. The opening, they wouldn't be able to fit in. So I went ahead and uh, got the medium. The large would have been ridiculous. Um, wouldn't have really fit in my thing. I'm going to feed them. So here are the beetles. Uh, I had to get rid of two of them. Unfortunately, they died. Um, these are doing well. I just put in apples today. Um, this is the rest of them. One pupa. Um, if you're going to do this and use, um, well, you have to give them something with moisture, so. After you do that, you have to change the substrate so it won't get moldy. And this is apples. And it makes the place very wet. But they love it. As soon as I put them in, they all 
Rain. All right, so it rained a bunch here in Florida today. It was like uh, really bad thunderstorms, but this is in the pool. And there's a little snake. It, all I can see is it's black. Um, it's really small. It looks like it has a red belly, or orange. So this is kind of funny. <sighs> Let's see, how can I do this? Uh, let me set the camera down real quick. That was all in one hide. There's my girl, I took her out and fed her. Um, these are out because they just ate. Alright. The last one had 139 mealworms. So it was a good overcount. Um, this one is supposed to have 35. So far, I've used 21. A DT right there. She's eating calcium and she weighs 70 grams. I think she's gonna lay pretty soon.